Hey guys, welcome back once again. This is me Anshul Sharma, and today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the best tips and tricks for your AirPods Pro second generation, so that you can get the most out of your Apple's premium earbuds. So without wasting any time, let's first hit the intro. So before we get started, make sure that you have updated your iPhone to iOS 18 as few of the features will only work in iOS 18. And not just that, also make sure that your AirPods Pro are also updated. So AirPods Pro are updated automatically whenever you connect your AirPods to a charger. So to check what firmware is currently installed, just do this. So on your iPhone, just open the settings tab here and here just tap on the Bluetooth section. And now just tap on the I button. And here you'll see model name, model number, and which version your AirPods Pro are in currently. And if you just tap on it, you'll also see the case and version details. So first thing you can do is that you can take the ear tip fit test. As this is very helpful if your AirPods slips out of your ears very easily. As the AirPods Pro comes with replaceable tips of various sizes such as extra small, small, medium and large. And by default, they are packed with the medium size tips, but you can change that according to the ear tip fit test. So let's see how to do that. So first you have to attach the tips to the base of the AirPods and then just insert them into your ears. So on our iPhone, go to settings and then go to Bluetooth and just tap on the I button here. And if you scroll down, here you'll see the option of ear tip fit test. So just tap on it and then just tap on continue. And now a short music clip will play. Then the phone will say if the current tips offer a good seal or not. So let's try that. So as you can see, it's currently showing me to adjust the tips or try a different size. So similarly, that way you can check for other size tips as well, be it extra small, small, medium, large, and then decide which one fits you better. For me personally, the size extra small fits the best. So I'm glad that Apple has given us the extra small size as well. All right, the next trick is to control music with just a press. So whenever you're listening to music, you can just press the stem of the left or right earbuds with your thumb and forefinger until there's a low click sound. And then you can press once to pause or play the music and double press to skip forward to the next track and triple press to skip backward to the previous track. All right, the next trick is also similar to the previous one, but this time it's for the call controls. So when you are using your AirPods Pro during a call, then you can either mute or unmute your call just by pinching the stems of your AirPods Pro. Again, you just have to tap on the I button and then here you'll see all of the settings. Now you have to go into this call control section. And here you'll see this option of mute and unmute. And if you just tap on it, here you'll see two options, press once or press twice. So to make things easier, just select on press once. So now whenever you are speaking to someone and you want to either mute or unmute your call, then you know what to do. You just have to press the stem once and the call will be muted or unmuted if you want to do that. Okay, moving on to the next step, we have the smart adjustable volume controls, which basically lets you swipe up and down on the stem of the AirPods Pro to either increase or decrease the volume of a song. So to enable and customize this, again, you have to be in the AirPods Pro settings section. And if you scroll down, here you'll see this accessibility section, just tap on it. And if you scroll down, here you'll see this option of volume swipe. And it's also written here that it adjusts the volume of media and calls by swiping up or down on the touch control of AirPods Pro. So make sure that it's turned on to use it. And then at the bottom, you can also choose the preferred waiting time between swipes. So that way there is no unintended volume adjustments. Personally, I like to keep it at default, but you can change the settings and see which one suits you the best. So when the music is playing, you just have to put your thumb and index finger on the stem and swipe up or down on the control. Now, if you have sweaty hands like me, this can be a task. So personally, this feature is not for me, but you can still try out. All right, up next, we have active noise cancellation of the AirPods Pro and the other listening modes as well. So AirPods Pro have got three modes, that is transparency mode, adaptive mode, and lastly, noise cancellation mode. And you can change from each of them depending on your requirements and needs. So you can also change the modes from here in the settings panel as well. For example, like going from transparency to adaptive, from adaptive to noise cancellation, from noise cancellation to either off. But having said that, the preferred and easier way is to go to the control center and you just have to tap and hold here on this volume slider. And from here, you can change the noise control and you have all of these options. So whatever suits you at the moment, you can change right from here. So all of these modes work great according to the surroundings, but I personally most of the time keep it to the adaptive mode as it automatically adapts the volume of my current audio that I'm listening to my environment and surrounding. But you can try out on your own 
phone and see which one you like the most. Now one more thing, you can also switch between the mode just by pressing and holding on the stem of either bird. And once you hear a chime sound, that means the new mode has been activated. Alright, moving on, I'm sure that you must have been stuck in a noisy environment and suddenly a call comes up and there's so much noise that the other person cannot hear your voice completely. Well, don't worry because in iOS 18, we've got a new feature for AirPods Pro that is the voice isolation mode as it enhances the voice quality and reduces background noise. And this feature is accessible during the phone call. So to enable it, just swipe down from the top of the screen. And once you do that, you just have to tap on the FaceTime controls here. And as you can see right now, I'm doing a FaceTime call, but this works in simple phone calls as well. So here I have so many options. Currently it's set on automatic, but I can choose the voice isolation mode. And that way, if you have done the call to the other person, you can now clearly hear the person better on the other end. Alright, the next tip is to use the spatial audio feature. So it was a feature that was unique to AirPods Pro, but it has now been included in the new AirPods 4 as well. So it basically brings head tracking and surround sound effects to supported audio and video, which makes your music listening experience much more amazing. So to enable it, in the AirPods Pro settings section, scroll down and here you'll see this option of personalized spatial audio in the spatial audio section. And before turning it on, you can also see and hear how it works and then you'll see two options here on the left side we have the stereo audio that is currently being played in my airpods so which is the normal audio that you'll usually hear now the spatial audio will come and the spatial audio feels more richer and more vibrant so this is a quick test to understand the immersive three-dimensional spatial audio so once you are happy with the test and you've understood the difference just tap on done and now tap on personalized spatial audio again tap on personalized spatial audio here so now what it will do is that it will use your iphone camera to personalize the spatial audio according to the shape of your ears so if you just tap on continue and once your ears are tracked according to the shape of them then you can easily hear and watch movies which support spatial audio giving you a more immersive experience all right the next feature that you should definitely try is the conversation awareness feature which was recently added in the airpods pro so again in the settings panel here in the audio section you will see this option of conversation awareness which basically means that it will lower your media volume and it will reduce the background noise when you start speaking to other people so what previously you have to do is that you have to pull out one airpods of yours to listen to the other person especially if you have noise cancellation on but with the help of this feature you don't have to do that completely as whenever somebody else speaks something airpods pro will automatically lower the voice so that you can understand what the other person is speaking and once the conversation is over airpods pro will automatically turn up the volume again Again, so that you can enjoy the music and this whole process doesn't require hands as after you turn this toggle on airpods pro will do all of this automatically so this is a great feature that you should definitely try all right now let's just say you want more customization with regards to the sound that you are hearing in the airpods pro so there's a feature known as headphone accommodation which can enhance the audio that are coming from your airpods by boosting softer sounds and certain frequencies so let's see how to do that so here in this section if you scroll down Again, you have to go into the accessibility section and here you'll see this option of iPhone audio and visual settings. Just tap on it and then it will take you into the audio and visual section in the settings app. And here in the first section only, you'll see headphone accommodations where you can customize the audio for supported Apple and Beats headphones. So if you just tap on it and just toggle it on and here you'll have various options that for example, you can select to tune audio for whether you want a balanced tone, a more vocal range or brightness. Now here, this is not a visual brightness, but this is brightness related to the audio. And then you can also choose the soft sounds that will be boosted slightly, moderately or strongly depending on your preference. And at the bottom, you can also choose where to apply these settings. So whether you're on a call or you're listening to any media. And if you just tap on custom audio setup, it will ask you to answer a few questions to customize your audio output. So just provide it and your audio settings will change based on the answers. All right, the next trick is amazing. And it's also one of the latest features that has been added in the Apple AirPods Pro, which is to respond to Siri with a nod or shake to either accept or reject call. So let's just say you're walking and you're listening to music while you are holding some things in your hand and you cannot take out your phone. Well, in that case, you can just nod to accept the calls or shake your head to reject the calls. So let's first see how to enable this feature. So in the airport settings section, scroll down and here you'll see this option of head gestures and currently it's turned off. So just tap on it and just turn the toggle on. And now here it's written that for accept or reply, you can either choose to nod your head up and down 
or you can either choose to nod your head side to side. So for accepting and replying up and down is generally the norm. And to decline and dismiss side to side is generally the norm. So both of these are selected. Now to try it, just tap on try head gestures. And then you just have to respond to Siri by moving your head. So let's do that. So just tap and continue. So once you've set up all of this and if somebody calls you, you just have to nod or shake your head. And once you'll do that, Siri will automatically either accept or reject your call depending how you have used your head. So it's a pretty great feature and can be used in so many scenarios. All right, last but not the least, the trick is to turn your AirPods into a hearing aid. Now with iOS 18, your AirPods Pro will actually be a hearing aid, but that feature has not yet arrived in my airpods pro and even if it does arrive it will only come in the us for the time being but don't worry with the live listen feature you can still use your airpods as a hearing aid so to enable it first you'll need to add this feature to the control center on your iphone so if you just go to the control center here and if you just tap on the plus icon on the top left and here at the bottom just tap on add a control and here search for live listen and it will appear here and just tap on it just tap on it again now you have to put your airpods in your ears so once you'll do that just tap on the live listen icon here and the live listen feature is turned on now what you have to do is you have to place the phone next to the person or the audio source that you want to hear more clearly and then the sound will be amplified but now currently since i'm using the airpods i'm listening my own voice which is very weird. Now this feature is meant to be used as a hearing aid, but there are other fishy ways as well to use this feature, which of course I'm not gonna tell, but you're smart, you guys will know. But having said that, till the real hearing aid feature comes in your AirPods Pro, you can definitely use this live listen feature so that you can amplify the sounds which are coming around in your surrounding. If of course you have a problem in your hearing. Having said that, these were the best tips and tricks for the AirPods Pro second generation that you should definitely try. But having said that, there are still many more tips and tricks that are there in the AirPods Pro. So you guys let me know in the comment section whether I missed any or you want a second part of it as well. So that we can discuss more of the advanced tips and tricks. And again, if you guys have reached here, then definitely like this video, share it with your friends and family. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to iGeeks Blog. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep enjoying your life.